And this week I'm going to show you how I um, develop a painting from the beginning through to the end and um, how I decide what's important and what I'm going to focus on in the final painting. How I decide on my colour heroes and how I decide on the, the shapes that I want to bring out in the painting too. So taking it from the very beginning I'm just laying in paint and I'm just, um, when I do this, I'm thinking about colours that will work nicely together. So I had quite a saturated um, blue there, and I'm putting over it a desaturated, quite a muted, warm, yellowy, um, ochery sort of colour. And these two colours, I think, work really nicely together. So I'm building a surface at this point, and now I'm bringing in some line with a marker straight line and more sort of random expressive sort of line. Now I've taken a stencil and I'm just using it to create shapes very loosely. I'm using a dark paint so that I get a really strong contrast between light and dark and I'm using that stencil as a paintbrush as well. Now I'm bringing in a saturated yellow colour and this um, is going to, it's going to be warm and sit nicely with the ochre behind it the sort of, and it's also going to um, sit well with that blue because the blue is cool and the yellow is warm. And now I'm drawing with a orange pencil. Now this is one of my favourite tools. I'm pushing a lot of the, what I have done back by spreading black over the top. And now I'm coming in with a, a warmer, deeper yellow that will work well with the yellows I've already got. And then punching in with that more saturated blue. Putting that around the composition. So I'm sort of deciding here on my palette. I'm thinking about the colours that I want to have in the, in the painting. I've got that muted um, green sort of sitting in the background. I've come over it with the very thin black which sends it back even further and makes it more desaturated. And now I'm bringing in the blues and the yellows. Okay, having set up a really nice sort of um, backdrop, I'm now going to bring in some heroes. And these are these lines. I'm making each one different, but the there's enough similarity between them for them to have a little conversation between each other. And I'm searching for other shapes as well here in different marks to just add differences and interest to the surface. Pushing things back and bringing things forward all the time. Laying in thick paint over thin paint, always thinking about what will look good with what I've already got. And fine tuning those shapes that I want to be heroes in the painting. I'm always trying to um, find a balance between a very intentional type of mark and something that's more loose and free and expressive. And now I'm dealing with the shape of the painting. So I want big shapes and small shapes. And with that I want interest, so that's why I put those little marks up there. That gives the general design an interesting shape to the whole painting. Coming back with the orange pencil again, 
I'm using it with quite a loose line there, but a ruled line, and now I'm using it in a very different way, just to um, take the eye over to that side of the painting.